It is 9.37 p.m. on Sunday, February 15th. How you guys doing this week? Um, been a slow week overall, but I did finish up my rustic mission style inspired candle holder. So the idea is you hold it like this and you walk around. Um, the candle I got, they only had skinny ones at Walgreens, so it's a little wobbly. Um, this thing is like exactly three quarters of an inch thick, and when I drilled a three quarter inch hole and you try to put it in it, it you have to like force it in there, and I didn't want to build that that tight, so my neck size up was seven eighths, and so now it's kind of wobbly. Um, but I imagine if you got some thicker candlesticks it would be better. And then after I already had it done, my wife suggested, oh, well, why don't you put a nail or something in the bottom that pokes up into this thing? But if I had thought about that before I drilled this hole, because this hole is, let's see, the hole is an inch and three quarters deep. So I'm trying to get a nail in there to stick into this thing would be a little more trouble than I want to put into this thing. So, uh, as you can tell, I mean, I didn't try real hard to make it super smooth. You know, the idea is to keep it rustic. You know, maybe this is something that would be made back in the day. So, that's uh, the project. I'm going to hopefully finish editing the video tonight uh, to post up, you know, late tomorrow night for Tuesday morning. Um, Valentine's Day was yesterday. Um, we took the boys to the Lowe's uh, Building Grow, because of course they had it on Valentine's Day. Um, they made these little heart uh, card holders, that's what they're called. And um, so they had fun doing that, um, pretty easy one. Um, what did we do after that? After that we went to Michael's and I bought some more of those... Uh, um, those little wooden toy kits. Uh, one's a biplane, one is a helicopter, and one I think is a boat. So I bought some of those, so we'll be building those hopefully this month sometime. Uh, the next build and grow is for California, Southern California at least, is um, the 28th of this month, so in two weeks. And then the registration opens tomorrow, but they always seem to open it uh, about 10 o'clock my time, so I'm, I'm guessing they do it central time. So I got to remember to uh, sign up tonight because the Lowe's that we go to is, you know, five minutes that way. And um, they don't they don't get super full. They don't order, you know, a super amount of kits. Um, and if we don't make it to that one, then we got to go to the one that's 15, 20 minutes down the freeway. And that one just gets nuts. Um, I used to put videos on Keek, so there's some videos on Keek about it. Um, I don't know if you notice, I don't do Keek anymore. It's just one too many things to do, and it got to the point where I was just never doing it. So I deleted the app off my phone. But uh, the, the one farther down in Corona, uh, they get probably two or three hundred people, whereas the one here maybe gets a hundred. You know, they might get even more. Um, if you've been to Lowe's, what they do is all the way in the back by the, uh, the cutting machine, you know, to cut the large sheet goods and stuff. Um, they set it up down there, they'll put five, six, seven um, stacks of uh, plywood, and then you build it on top of there. And the one close to me here, you know, the line gets about 15 deep. The one in Corona, it will, the line will be from that section uh, where the cross piece is all the way to the front of the store, and then sometimes along the side of the store. So it'll be a 20 minute wait in line just to get up to where it's, you can make it. So um, if, if I try really hard to get to the one close to us because it's a shorter wait and you know not as loud and crazy. Um, if I can't get there, then I go to the one in Corona because you know I just I don't want to miss it. So anyway, uh, Valentine's Day, um, I made some little baskets. You know they had baskets at the dollar store, so I got some. Uh, five baskets for me, for my wife, the two boys, and for my mother-in-law. 
Um, I, I have to get one for me because my wife never remembers to get anything for me. It's always, oh, well, I'll get you something next week. So I always get them for me, otherwise I get nothing. Um, this time she actually did remember and she got me a case. Um, these are actually pretty cool. They are the Versa Lens safety glasses, which are cool, except they come with, well, you can see here if it's out of focus or not, extra um, lenses. So these ones are the, the glossy, and then these ones are the uh, straight smoked. So I haven't tried, I haven't pulled them out yet because I, I've yanked at them a little bit and they don't want to come out easy. Um, and I'm afraid of breaking them, but you can pull the lenses out of these and then put in smoke lenses and then wear them with sunglasses. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, she got them at Uline. So Uline.com. Um, I imagine you used to uh, search for Versa Lens, V E R S A dash lens. So uh, I'll try to look them up and put a uh, link down in the comments. But. The ones that you usually see me wearing, these ones here, are also from Uline, but they're just, you know, wrap around, they don't change. So these ones are pretty cool. Um, I might, you know, once I get comfortable enough to pull the things out, I might try wearing them out, you know, out and about and see how they look. So they padded case with the lenses in it, and it's got a bag to put them in. So they're pretty cool. Um, other than that, let's see. Somebody had just posted in uh, my city for the exchange, um, which we don't have a buy-sell trade on Facebook for, for my city. It's uh, the Eastvale Exchange. So uh, somebody asked about uh, if anybody could make a picnic table with the trough down the middle of it for um, to make you could put ice and put beer and stuff in it, or you could put candles in it, or you could put flowers, make a little flower bed. But um, she had posted a, an example, so my wife saw it and put a link to, to me into the website. So I'm hopefully I'll be making one of those. Uh, it looks pretty beefy though. It looks like it's all 2x6s or 2x8s. And then they've got 4x4s for the cross pieces. So I'm pretty sure I, you know, I, I have an idea how I would make it. But, you know, it, it, it's one of those things that would be kind of expensive to make just as a project. Uh, project video if I didn't have somewhere to sell somebody to sell it to because uh, it's not I, just, I don't have room in the back for a you know a picnic table too I mean I do have room but not if I want to be able to build you know any projects back there and I try to keep it reasonably free so the boys can ride their bikes and scooters and stuff back there but uh, that's pretty much it I have no idea what I'm making next week um, no clue no idea at all. So, if you guys have any ideas of something you'd like to see, uh, put it down in the comments. I think I said that last time too. And somebody has some people have good ideas, so I'm gonna look at next or last week's and see if there's any ideas I missed. Um, but right now, I've got my fun of the woodworking shirt on, and it's time to make the intro and the outro for um, the candle holder. Oh, also, I'm gonna try something different. I have zero use for this thing, so I'm going to mention in the uh, video that I'm going to sell it on eBay. So, you know, if I can make a few bucks on it, as opposed to it just sitting in here somewhere for the next, you know, year, it's worth a try. So, if you guys are interested in buying this, um, check the video on Tuesday, and there will be a link to an eBay sale. So, other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Yep, still loud.